what's the good word, friends? It's Totter here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Gold Silver Randomizer Soul Link with my good friend, Just Joshin. Hey guys, I'm Just Joshin. I'm not trying to be mean. Kanto? When's Kanto gonna show up? <laughs> I don't know, man. We, I figured we would come. I mean, we already showed up with pretty big heads anyway, because we're the champions after all. And we're just like, you know, Kanto, they got a lot of the original trainers. That's when all these things kind of started up with uh, Pokemon anyway. I think it'd be a little bit tough. No, not even not even a challenge. Misty, done. Sabrina, done. Lieutenant Surge, done. And it's like, oh, yeah. what now? I mean, is, is anybody else going to present a challenge? Well, today we might find that out with a Janine towards the end of the episode. But if you want to see what all happened on the last episode where we got a couple encounters, a couple of cool encounters, really. Yeah. <laughs> cool to see what I did there. Um, <laughs> go, go pop over to Just Josh's channel, link in the description. Be sure to hit the subscription button and the not notification bell so you know when the next episode goes live, which uh, his next episode will go up on Saturday. But as far as today's episode, we have three encounters to get to the south, um, 13, 14, and 15. Uh, Route 11, we are going to leave alone right now, uh, just for the sake of we've already got three encounters, and our main goal for the day is to get through Janine, uh, so we can at least get that far, but before we do anything else, as y'all might have realized by now, it's Team Recap Th Thursday, and uh, oh, we actually yeah. have some new teammates from the last time we did one of these things, which is kind of exciting. So, I was going to say, is this the full uh, Team Recap Thursday with a full team? It is, which we've Let's only done go. one. That's a very special occasion. Which we've only done one other time before, I'm pretty sure. And do you remember what happened after we did one of those? Uh, we don't speak of that day. <laughs> I try not to as well. But anyway, before we get too far, let's start out with some power. Mm. And one of the new uh, pairs that was not on Team Recap Thursday the last time, I don't believe. But we have Olga, the Lugia. The Psychic and Flying type is gaining some levels uh, despite being a legendary. It's starting to climb up there and be able to hold its own at level 27 uh, with Aeroblast Safeguard, Zap Cannon, and Amnesia. It was able to learn some pretty awesome TMs uh, that could come in handy later. Yeah, yeah. And Olga is linked with Mr. Brightside, the Mischievous, Ghost type. Holding the spell tag to boost up those ghost type moves, of which I just realized it doesn't even have, but that's okay, it's the thought that counts. Growl, <laughs> Sire Wave, Spite, and Confuse Ray is its moveset. Maybe with, maybe with any luck we'll find a Shadow Ball TM just lying around that somewhere. That would be cool. Or even a Lick TM, you know, that'd be great. Um, mm hmm But, uh... Anyway, the next one that popped up on my list is usually the anchor that'll pop up at the very end of every Team Recap Thursday, but he's here now and he wants to party. It's X Chomps. X, the Feraligator, who's, uh, I don't know, what's what's the next, uh, I guess he's an esports gamer at this point. He's uh, Ooh, he's done everything he can level up. On, a, on, an, on an online competitive level, and now he's jumping into esports because that's the thing now, and uh, he's climbing the ranks there making a lot of money. Uh, he's got a Quick Claw. So he can outspeed uh, just about everything at any given moment uh, with Slash Hypnosis, Waterfall, and Surf. I still gotta visit the Mood Deleter because now that I have Lugia, I would love to spread out those HMs, but that's where we're at. X Chomps linked with a, a man who needs no introduction, certainly no noob himself. Doug the Golem, the Doug rock ground type, holding the soft sand so those magnitude fours do just a little bit more damage. Plus Thunder <laughs> Punch, Defense Curl, and Rock Throw. <laughs> I, w I wish I could see a list of all of the magnitude numbers that you've had throughout the entire playthrough. And yeah. <laughs> I would not be surprised if there were a bunch of fours and fives on there, despite the percentage uh, it the takes fours, to get them. The fours show up at the worst possible times, usually. I get eights and <laughs> sevens and eights and good stuff when I don't need them. Doug does not have one clutch gene in that rock-like body of his. <laughs> Next up, we got uh, Starbucks the Weezing, who I've been growing ever so attached to because it's come in big time clutch when I've needed him. Kind of like another pair that'll come up, but we haven't got that far yet. Poison type at level 41 with the Poison Barb that powers up that sludge. It's also got Nighttime and Spore, uh, which has been a fun little combination to use. And um, it also became my flyer back when I didn't have a Pokemon that can learn it. So it's a floaty boy, it can fly. So we just kind of stuck with it that way. So that's what we got. And Starbucks <laughs> is linked with... Did you like my Felicia impression? Sorry, 32 <laughs> yeah. speed, by the way. Felicia yeah. the Steelix. The steel ground type holding the quick claw for that very reason. So slow. <laughs> Cut, screech, iron tail, rock throw. Pretty good move set. <gasps> 35, let's go! Look at uh, that! Yeah, very slow, though. See, he's trying. He's trying his darndest. And that's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> right. 
so next, uh, oh, this is the very Pokemon I was talking about that has come in ever so clutch when we've needed him the most. Punch Buggy the Electabuzz at level 38. Nobody is apparently toxic enough to uh, handle this guy because the Poison Cure Berry has been there for quite a while now. It's probably rotten at this point, so I wouldn't, su I wouldn't suggest <laughs> eating it. You might just become poisoned, ironically, when you do. Um, got a Thunder Punch, which you can imagine is what we used all the time. Uh, light screens come in handy quite a bit, and we got a Screech as well if we want to whip out some uh, Swifts. So, uh, nice little move set for Punch Buggy. Punch Buggy is linked with Malone the Venusaur, who has also been extremely clutch for my side of the field. A grass poison type holding the Miracle Seed. Razor Leaf and Vine Whip doing so much damage. Sleep Powder to help us catch everything. And Waterfall because, well, someone's got to learn it for the one time you use it in this game. And uh, <laughs> that someone was Malone. He's going chasing waterfalls. Gotta yeah. love it. Ooh, and the shiny pair that only has one yeah, shiny Pokemon on it, which uh, big ribs for me. But Orion the Umbreon is here. Uh, he's just been hanging out, absorbing hits left and right, even though it's leveling up uh, slower than a Steelix walks, apparently. With the, fo <laughs> with the focus band in case it somehow takes an Oko hit, it might be able to live it, so that... Might come in handy one day. We'll see. Uh, also got the Mega Horn Cut Pursuit, and it can lay out some spikes if it wants to be a hassle. Orion is linked with Zia, the shiny Heracross, the bug fighting type holding the black belt. Not much has changed on Zia, but to be fair, not much needs to change on Zia. <laughs> Double Kick does a ridiculous amount of damage. Mega Horn does a ridiculous amount of damage. Fly does a ridiculous amount of damage, and Surf's just there. <laughs> Now all you gotta do is find a triple kick mega uh, TM Please. and he'll be he'll be set. And if I recall, I haven't counted six yet, but I do think this is the last pair that we got to go through. But it is also the second new pair for our team recap Thursday. Cloud the Dragonair is here. Uh, Buster Sword is not in the hand, but that's because it ain't got no hands. So I could hold the Buster Sword <laughs> anyway. Uh, Dragon type uh, at level 16, uh, still trying to work up some levels. Also holding an experience <coughs> share has Rap, Leer, Thunder Wave, and Twister. Cloud linked with Fazoli, the Entei, making me want some breadsticks. Fire type, <laughs> also holding the exper e experience. How do I say that word? Experience <laughs> share. Experience. Because Zoe level 23 needs a little help. Bite Leer, Ember Roar. Don't even say that last one. Uh, <laughs> good move set until then, uh, Entei. Thank you. And that was the sixth one. I counted correctly. I did it. It was. We did it. All right. All so right, how yeah. about... So how about before I go anywhere, considering uh, one of the encounters in the last episode, of all things, a bell sprout sucked up all of my great balls. Well, just about mm, all of them. So yeah, let me. That, uh, it'll, it'll do that. Let me remedy that situation real quick so I can run into another minuscule Pokemon that'll just keep breaking out and breaking out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do feel a little bad. At the end of the uh, of Tuesday's episode, I promised an absolute just encounter bonanza. And we'll still get a decent amount of encounters in today's episode. We'd factored in the Snorlax encounter and the Route 11 encounter, but I forgot that they moved... The Snorlax isn't in its usual position in this one. It's in a little bit of a different spot, uh, which is fine. Um, but there are some trainers over on that on Route 11 that blocks us from getting there. Not that there's anything wrong with fighting a trainer, but we're trying to avoid it if at all humanly possible. We're not. We're trying to steamroll a little bit through Kanto. And look what we're uh, gonna I get. Think, yeah, I was just about to say. I think that house that you're standing outside of, if my eyes do not deceive me, is where I'm we the go. fishing guru's younger brother. I could see that you like fishing. There's no doubt in my mind at all. Am I right? Yes, yes, just whatever you yeah. want to, whatever you want to hear. Stop whispering in my ear. <laughs> mm, yes, just as I thought. Here, fishing fan, take this. It's my super rod. In the criminal <laughs> justice system. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell anybody where I live, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's nice about done. this is I, I think you can catch like level 40s with the super rods, so uh, yep. we can get some. It, it, it might make it a little bit harder to catch them, but we can get some like. <laughs> I did the same thing. Almost I, threw up. I thought I saw him at the top of the screen, and I hope this wasn't my encounter. I don't think it is. Is it Route 12? Route, route 12 we already got, correct? Yeah, is that still? Am I still on Route 12 right there? Okay, yeah, this cool. is We're this good is then. still Route 12, so you're good. All right, nothing good. to worry about. We still got right. a little ways to go before 13. Like I, like we said, there's there's a couple of trainers. Calcium, that's money. I should probably pick that up. Yeah, man. Um, I 
I, 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 I... Oh yeah, item, let me get that. Let me pick that up real quick. Mm, what hey, should I, pick I need to up? tie it. I need to tie the score that has been the same score since like Ooh. episode 12. How about it? Oh, I saw the M. And I it did opened too. up my eyes. I saw the M. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was very close to hopping out of my chair, but a moonstone, you know? I'm not gonna... It could come in clutch. Yeah, I'm not gonna be sad about that. Not even for a second I won't be. You know what? I'm gonna take the, the easy route here just to make sure I don't run into somebody. Because I Is feel there, like I That will. might be a new route. This this might be the new route. I think that might... That's oh, no, another it's still poly route. So, yeah. so no encounter yet. We're there. getting really close. Yeah, still I'm glad 12. Because that grass down there, I think that grass might signal the new route. So I think you might let be me, right. Yep, I just crossed now. it. Yeah, so I, this is 13 now, so <laughs> you, we can get the we can get the encounter in the water, I believe, uh, if we want to. Or it looks like there's no trainers, so we could just hop up into the, uh, the grass. A little scary. Oh, there's one I up there. Oh, I know yeah, there's trainers I'm, around here. You're gonna do I'm the water? In, yeah, I'm doing the water because we can't. We gotta we gotta fight those guys to get to that grass. So I'm just gonna hop in the old Wawa, uh, see what we get. Seconds. That is a dupes. You definitely just caught an Arbok a couple episodes ago. I sure did. Yeah, I was on Route 4, too. So, I don't want another Ekans. I don't particularly need a Poison type, so... No, Snick! Give me something else. Give me something else that I would like I to use. At least, I see at least one required battle. There's probably going to be a couple required battles to get through here, but... This battle is both required to get through, and it'll give me access to that grass, so I'm gonna go for this. Ooh, That's not psychic. A dupes. Drowsy. I don't want it. Think stupid. A female drowsy. This, I, like, I, I just don't understand. It's one thing that there's like not that many trainers in Kanto, but they also give them this guy at a level 20. Okay, he has six Pokemon, but like, he gave him a level 23. He's got 23s. What, what am I supposed to fear here? <laughs> right. Again, this is Kanto! This. Right? Okay. Want me to zoom. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Want me to zoom do through this? this at ridiculous speeds so that I can join you in, in encounter land? Hey. Ooh. And that's I, the whole battle. <laughs> I think I missed two, and I got disabled. Okay. Okay. So, Lugia came in absolutely useless there. No! So. Yeah, sorry, I was, I was listening to you, I was just too busy being frustrated, because I was like, what is a legendary doing struggling against this? I didn't even touch it. Alright, so this is 13, correct? Yes, okay, so yes. I will find something to pair up with your female drowsy. Psychic type, not psychic type, not female. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, uh, that is technically a pair. I do have that caught, um... I caught a Hitmonchan and a Hitmontop, technically. Yeah. Complete the trio. Do I risk the dupes? Do I risk See, the See, Bellsprout, I... you could take some lessons from your boy Drowsy here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I am going to take the dupes here. Even though fighting in Psychic is a relatively not common typing, I'm going to see if I can find some... If I get another Tyrogue here, I'll take it. Okay, I just caught you yeah, last you just... episode. So that's male, <laughs> so that's dupes. And now I... I should have mm -hmm. taken the tie road. I think I should have taken the tie road. That's a big oops, and that was a male too. You got nice. yeah, both males. So yeah, you've it already done male, two so dudes. Whatever this is, is what I get. No, oh. I caught you. <laughs> be a female. Just realize it doesn't matter that I caught you. Be a female. Be a female. Oh, no. I didn't catch you. I thought I caught uh, this thing. No. I either way, you'll catch it now. <sighs> I caught a tangler. Yeah. Oh, 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 I ran into the Tangela last episode, but then instead I caught... What did I catch instead of Tangela? Was that the Pol... No, that wasn't the Polyrath. This thing is called... I, don't know what I, <gasps> I accidentally clicked Waterfall, which I doubt would have killed this thing, but still, stop mashing, Josh. Erv. That's the drive. I'm gonna go fight that guy now. So what direction do I gotta go? Do um, these guys get me? I, I just went under there, and then go left, and then if you go up, you have to fight that guy. There, I, I, I don't think there's any way around that guy. And he's got six Pokemon, which is extremely not fun, but I'll be catching this Tangela for a bit, so. Alright, got what's, time. What's, uh, oh, there's just another item down here, maybe. No, I, what? I thought so. It really looked like it. Sometimes, like, the yeah. game guides your hand to make you really think it's gonna be an item. I thought right. for sure that was gonna be an item, but it was not. Right. This guy's gonna have six Pokemon, isn't he? He does. He just have said six Pokemon. Pikachu game. It's very annoying. That's so obnoxious. And they're all level 23. Jeez. 
So it's well, not even like sort of scary. Right? All right, well, I guess everyone meet your doom, except I'll just miss another zap cannon. And I'll take a super effective bite. <laughs> that kind of hurt a little Ooh, bit. Zap right. cannon, please! Mmm. Mmm. bro. You get one more chance, let's see. Lugia. Nothing. And I'm a. Three! Oh my, it's just coin flips, Lugia. Three! You ever I can play Diddly Winks? Thank you! Jeez, just like Good firing stuff. lasers Good everywhere. Stuff. Trees are burning down behind her. Like the fence <laughs> posts are just caught on fire and Crobat's still just flying, just waiting. Hey. Alright, let's see if I can avoid more trainers. There are several more trainers on this route that I would love to avoid. Alright, I think I've got the path. Yeah, baby. Alright. Alright, punch right, buggy. There at least. is at least one more trainer that's gonna be a required battle, it's looking like. Yeah. Alright, oh, so there's two right. required guys, and he may also have six Pokemon, which is just a nightmare. Yeah, and then you gotta like go around because he like blocks your path. Like then you yep, have to go he's around. Like, him. You beat me, but I'm gonna be a little- He's got four Pokemon. <laughs> Still, practically. He's got the Pikachu gang. Holy cow. Mm-hmm. Alright, All right. what do we got? What do we got next here? Clefairy! Get out of like, here with that. I always thought- I, I look back on Red and Blue- Or just like Kanto in general fondly. This area of the game is always- Like you- Once you open up like Saffron and you kind of- get this like you can go wherever you want it's a cool concept that lets you go but it always feels like such a slog because they're just like extremely long routes just filled to the brim with trainers and it's a little bit better in in this because there's less trainers but it's mm -hmm. still just like i want the next gym badge brother <laughs> you know what i just realized now that electabuzz is off the screen and this is really what? random but his head looks like a ufo He's got like the two little antennas coming out. Oh, like his, I see it, I see it. I had, to, looks I had like... to draw him in my mind, but I see it. Mm -hmm. Which kind of leads me into a question. I, I don't even know why I'm asking this because, I don't know, just when I thought about the UFO thing, I was like, I kind of want to ask. Not that I have a direct answer myself, but uh, uh, what do you think of the possibility of aliens existing? What's your What's your stance on that? It, it, that's a tough question. That's a mm -hmm. that's a good. That's like my friends go to two a.m. Couple <laughs> right. Dr. Pepper's question. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think my general stance is they have to. There has to be. Mm -hmm. the, if the if like again, I don't. You know, I've been taking a science class since like junior high school. So like. I'm not gonna go based off, well, I've never seen an alien, so there can't be, but mm -hmm. according mm -hmm. to the very scientists who are much smarter than I am, there are theoretically infinite potential, the universe is potentially infinitely large. If that mm. is to be believed, and, and somewhere it has to be. Will we ever meet them in our lifetime? Eh, that's a little more unlikely, but mm -hmm. uh, if it truly is infinite, then I gotta believe that in one infinite reality, Oh, Big Rips, you don't have to fight that guy. No! Dang it! <laughs> Do <laughs> I just go up and infinite... to the left? Yeah, so like, yeah. even it, like, and he blocks the way anyway, and he- Oh, he doesn't have six, thankfully, but yeah, he blocks the way anyway, so either way you would have to go around him. He's just a big jerk. But right. I, I think there has- to me there has to be. Yeah, I'm- I'm in the same boat too, just because there is so much, like, our universe could be so huge and we don't even right. know it. Like, there could be another Earth out there that have human-like creatures, too, that are probably sitting down doing the same things that we're doing. Like, not exactly the same things, but, like, just, you know, hobby things, like, it could be anything. And they're just like, man, I wonder mm -hmm. if there's another, like, planet out there that's like ours that can sustain life. And I'm like, there just has to be. There has to be. I, I think so, too. And, like, I also love space. Like, I was super obsessed with space when I was a kid and wanted to be an astronaut until I realized it's not that easy to become an astronaut, but I was very excited by the prospect as a kid. Uh, so I've just always really, really, like the, the SpaceX launch they did the other day, I thought was cool as heck. I'm so glad yeah, we're yeah. doing some more space stuff again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm it on just 14, makes... by the way. 14's a new encounter, correct? Uh, yes, yes. So that right, would actually I also be believe yours if my you want to, if you want to jump ahead. I will, I have to fight this jerk, but I will, I will go ahead and get 14. This jike. This dang meanie. Dang it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to consult you after I get done with this fight just to make sure I don't fight any more unnecessary jikes. There's no more unnecessary, but there is. you're gonna have one more required guy that you're gonna have to fight. He's the guy you saw me fighting who blocks the way like a big old jerk face after and then you gotta go all the way around. 
Right, uh, right. You'll, you'll have to fight him. Uh, down on this route, there's a couple avoidable trainers, so I, I, I'm still just dipping my toes into this route, so I'll do some more scouting. Sure, sure. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, uh, like, I always think about, not to backtrack, but I always think about, like, you know, after our entire generation is, like, long gone, I'm talking, like, 100, 200, 300 years in the future, like, I wonder what that's gonna be like, like, how far ahead in space exploration are they gonna be? How... It'd be pretty nuts. Like, what are the technological advances that are gonna take place? Like, what... Is there any possibility of, like, them making contact? And it's like, things that we're not gonna get to see in our lifetime if it's even true. But it still right. makes you wonder. Oh yeah, this is the my guy you're talking about. My encounter's in Magikarp, by the way. So, and I do not think I have caught a Gyarados, so this is my encounter. Well, that's exciting, Josh. Right. It should be very easy to capture at the very least, so at least it'll be time-saving, but uh, not exciting. Right. What did you Here's What a, did you name your Tangela, by the way? I never asked. Spagooter. Spagooter. I like Little it. Little Spagooter. Here's a follow-up question. If, and I don't think this will happen, but if sometime in our lifetime, space travel was a thing, would you do it? Oh, man. This is coming from the man <laughs> who's only been outside the country a single time, so probably not the best to be asking travel-related questions, but mm -hmm. that's a pretty big leap between just fly, you know, flying to a different country versus flying to a different planet. Well, you've been out of the country one more time than I have, so <laughs> oh, that, that would be an entirely go. new thing for me because... Uh, <laughs> okay, where have you gone when you went out of country? Not to deviate from your question. I went to Germany for about okay. a little bit less than a week to... When I started this new job, actually, my training was in Germany, which was a part of the reason I said yes really? to the job, because they were like, well, we're going to fly out to Germany to do some training. I was like, I don't even wow. care what you're going to pay me. I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> that's That's awesome. It was um, very fun. But as far as me going to space, I feel like by the time that that would even happen, assuming it does, I'll probably be an 80-year-old, just terrified man, because I'll just be so used to the way life has been for me for the last, you know, 70-so years, and just right. be like, I don't want you to send me out into any willy-nilly space <laughs> program, whatever. Like, I'd just be like, okay, nice, nice, Macha, or uh, Weezing, that's, that's really nice of you. <laughs> Missing an 85% move, just, we got things to do now! But, Big um, rips. But I don't know. You know, maybe I would do it, because then the inverse would be, I've lived a long life, what's something I haven't done yet? Let's go to freaking space. If I die of a heart attack, of then that'd be the greatest way to go out, honestly. Yeah. So, like, this man died trying to fly to space and he had a heart attack. Said, no, that's a good out. That's a good out. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I think I'd be okay with that. Yeah, Every other way me, going out is boring, you know? I, I think it would have to, because I, I didn't even, like, I didn't fly on my first airplane until I was in high school. Like, I, I didn't even mm -hmm. go on a plane for a very long time. We did, mm -hmm. I, I grew up, my family, whenever we went on vacations, they're, they're, we're a driving family. We'll carpool yeah. 20 hours mm -hmm. across the country to go to Florida <laughs> if we have to. I always mm -hmm. hated it. I, I now love flying so much more. I just never had any experience with it when I was a kid. If space mm -hmm. travel, like on rockets and stuff, became so commercially abundant that it was almost like flying on a plane, I'd probably do it. But in like the early stages where there was still a little yikes around it, I don't think I would. Yeah. I, uh... Oh, I cut this down. Yeah, I... I didn't fly in a plane until I was 20... Oh, was I 26? Like, it was a mm. long time before I finally got to fly in a plane. And, um... Okay, so I guess I'll ask that question. What was your first experience, like, flying on a plane? Like, did it terrify you, or did you get used to it real easy? I thought I was gonna hate it. Well, it's, just, it's weird, so, like, I really like roller coasters and stuff. <laughs> and, yeah, and, hey, I, by the way. Oh, uh, <laughs> see, uh, we're just talking about space travel, so I figured it's pretty right. fitting. Oh, um, absolutely. <laughs> however you pronounce that. Right. Um... Uh, I was in high school, I think I was, it was either my junior or senior year, it was pretty late. Uh, I was flying to California for a school trip, and like, I was so nervous, so scared all the way up to takeoff, and then like, the takeoff hit, and I was like, oh here it goes, I'm gonna throw up everywhere, it's time. And it was, it was literally nothing. It was, it was less than going on a roller coaster, so by the time we were up there, 
Like when you're up there, especially if you close the window and stuff, you just completely forget about it. And by the time I got up in the plane, actually, I was more just like in a ama like amazement at a uh, marvel of human technology. She wants stonks the Celebi. Whoa! Uh -oh. What do you want to give me? No. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, lady. <laughs> but yeah, like by the time I got up into the sky, it was more like, whoa, human beings mm. did this. That's pretty freaking nuts. Right? Right? Um, real quick before I jump into my encounter, do you remember what gender your Magikarp was? It is, it was a female, which even though Elon Musk's son is tightly named, X I went ahead and stole it anyway. There you go. Shuckle's Shuckles. cute. Oh, but you I have don't a have it. Do I have a Shuckle? Yeah, do oh, I? never mind, I forgot. The Shuckle we got wasn't actually named Shuckle. It, or, but, uh, it wasn't actually a Shuckle, it was just named Shucky. Didn't you catch a Shuckle though? I do have a shuckle. Okay, you were the one that caught it. It wasn't me. Okay. I don't have a shuckle. And it would have given me another coughing, so just forget it. Just forget Not it. Not necessary. Then that used to be a like an aerodactyl here. for a chancy or something, or vice versa. I think so, yeah. Something silly. Right. Okay. Right. So, Dragon Scale, Dragon Ball. You Atkins need to get out of my route. That's the dupes I'm calling. That is a dupes, correct. Call on that dupes. Just don't give me another snake boy. I don't need it. Unless the Viper, Vipers were in this game, then I'd be very happy, but hey, it's not, <coughs> so. Please? There we go. Something good, por favor. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's water type. Oh, and you already have Oh, you have a water, that's right. I mean, I would have loved it's to a catch water, another so one. It, thankfully, it doesn't even count as a dupes. No. Nope. Uh, sorry for the world's loudest clap. I don't know how I did that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you get an extra chance still. That's only right. one dupe still. Come on. Schnabel! I don't have this. That, that is new. It's a female, yeah, so it doesn't work. it's a female, work. so I gotta try again. Alright, so I'm still at one dupes. But if I get a snubble male, that's fine. I haven't had yeah, it. Yeah, that's not too bad. I, I don't I don't hate Grand Bull. Grand Bull Gyarados would be a pretty neat pair, I would say. That, oh, I don't, I don't have that either. That's Ooh. a rock type. It is. That's a, good, that's a pretty good combo. I Another like rock water combo. What is happening? <laughs> that is true, actually. So you raised a good point. This should eat an Aeroblast. It resists it. Yeah. I think it should be fine. Eat it for breakfast, lunch, just, and dinner. Just looks so hardcore when it comes blasting out. <laughs> All right. So now it's uh, spore time. So we're gonna do that. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Once you get done with that guy, if you just if you just take that route to the, you just keep going south and hug the left wall. There's a cut tree, and if you just cut through the tree and go all the way to the left, you can make it all the way to Fuchsia with no more trainers, which is a welcome sight to see. So sweet! But, I need the I need the cooperation of our boy Kabuto here. Uh -huh. To don't struggle, just accept he's the ball. He's literally a fossil pup. Like, he's built to sleep. I don't know why he's being such a jerk about it. You were asleep for 2,000 years, what's another five minutes? Just stay asleep. <laughs> oh, oh my. come on. Come on with the three shake break. Don't give me that business. We want to go catch more teammates for you guys to hang out with in the PC. Why is that yes. such a problem for you? Make it a party in there. <laughs> it's a huge party. It's like the biggest party that Pokemon PCs have ever seen. Boom! There we go. It's getting a little out of control. <laughs> Just a pinch. You have to call in the call in the reinforcements. Say quiet it down in there. <laughs> What do I call well, this? the neighbors in box two called and said that box <laughs> three was being a little loud. <laughs> Could you please quiet it down? Uh, Zeke. I don't know why, but it's Zeke. Welcome to the dun, team, Zeke. Dun, 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 I always like Kabutops. Kabutops is always a fun use. Especially in Gen 1, when you never see Kabutos or Kubu. I love using Pokemon that you never see on the field, ever. So Kabutops, Amastar, they're always fun. So I'm going here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you just go in there and go all the way to the left, you can get all the way to Fuchsia, or I guess in our case, there's some grass all the way at the end that is devoid of trainers that you can just, uh, I think it's Route 15 it should be. This is 15 nah. right here. Yep, so this is the next encounter already. Wait, I, I would we... keep going all the way down though, because there's still more trainer. Like this guy's, there's a couple trainers. If you bring, if you come all the way down to the end all over the way, here, yeah. there's like a little two two pieces of grass that are outside of this trainer's view, so we can mm -hmm. avoid all the trainers. And there's a right. A love ball. ball. That's adorable. Love ball, baby love ball. <laughs> Get another love ball. Catch another <laughs> mod. All right, so here we go. 
All right, here's your one. So counter. I just just got these little. Oh, just first one. Let's go. It's meant to be, Charizard. No! It's my turn to get a mill tank. We can trade trading spaces. That's right. You know what? I hate facing mill tanks. I don't mind having one, I guess. It's fine. It's, it's not fine. too bad. It's honestly a pretty powerful Pokemon. I have a star you. I feel like I've and caught that's... one of you. Yes. Yes, you did. I was gonna say it's genderless, so if you hadn't caught it, is... it then. It is genderless, which means this does count as one dupes. I will go for a second one and see if I can find something a little bit more interesting to pair up with a mill tank. Mm-mm-mm. mm mm Alright, time to go to sleep. Time to go to sleep, Cal. Here's a question. No. Uh oh. That's a That's male my and it's a bear. That's my encounter. All right. I don't think it's gonna have horn drill right now. Not that it matters. I don't think it outlevels you, does it? It does not, especially once I switch him alone. <laughs> oh yeah, you're fine then. You are good to go. But that's still the thought now that you put it in my head scares me. <laughs> <laughs> True. The code talking about break nightmares for on five last seconds. And... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what if the coding in my Pokemon Gold game broke and that happened? Can I? This is opposite gender. Okay, love ball. Let's see what you got. Love Let's see what you got. Oh, oh uh, fun color. fact. I just learned this on Twitter yesterday. Uh, the love ball in this generation, except it might work right here. Nope. The love ball in this generation was coded incorrectly, and it actually gives you a better chance to catch Pokemon of the same gender. Happy Pride oh, Month. Oh, well, dang I learned, it. I learned that as a little Pride, Pride Month fact on Twitter yeah, yesterday. Yeah, there you go. Well, that didn't help me in that situation then, turns out. So it's just back to the old great balls. <laughs> back to great and balls. You should upgrade old balls, because I hate the not trying to brag, but we're one ball in everything that pops on the screen. Yeah, I'm about to do the same thing too. I was just buying great balls because they were cheaper, and I was like, yeah, it felt like I was balls. having the same amount of luck, but but yeah, ultra balls in, in this um, game. God. There are ultra balls in Fuchsia, so you'll be able to buy some there if you want. And Ultra Balls are actually coded correctly in this game, too, so it's one and a half and two they are. times, right? Okay, so maybe I should just do that now. I should have a little bit of money now, and if I really cared, I'd go see my mom and get my money, but hey, there we are. We're good. Nice, nice. That Great Ball still works. All right, Here's a question. Victor was sent to the PC. Mill takes a cow. Why does it have 100 base speed? That's a great question. I, I never really under... You would think it'd be a little... little, little slower. Mm -hmm. Carrying around all that milk. Let's I don't like that here. sentence. I don't like that <laughs> sentence that I just said. I'm sorry. <laughs> I missed it. Dang, I was too busy thinking about. I want to hear again. What'd you say? No, nope, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I will not see it in post. I'll let the imagination flow like the milk. Uh, what do I call, dude? Dude, dude. I'm gonna call this thing. Uh... Oh man, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. A cow. We call a cow without just basic names. You know what? <laughs> probably not. I'm gonna use it anyway. You're Bessie, because everybody else probably calls you Bessie. Oh, Bessie! Yeah. Oh, I'm a nugget. Bessie. Old Bessie works for me. Nugget. I got so much money I could have been <laughs> making over here. What the heck? All right, we are clear of Encounter Palooza. Now it's time to go beat up Koga's offspring. It is. I, I think, yeah, we definitely got enough time to do so, so I'm, I'm good to jump. I don't know how many, um, how many gym trainers she has. Hopefully it's not too insanely many, but uh, I bet we could get through her in a decent amount. Of, I mean, the levels are just <laughs> so low all around. I'm not too scared. I don't think, you know, I won't know, I guess, until I walk in, but it can't be very many if she's got any. I'd yeah. be surprised if she did, but... I've been wrong a lot, so yeah, you know. Unless yeah. Koga left his squad with her. Oh yeah, they're, oh they're all Janine clones. That's why. Yeah. All right. So do you know which one's actually her? Uh, do they actually fight us if we talk to them, or if we like get in their range? Oh, maybe they don't. They oh. don't. So we can just. Do you know? Is it is it this one or this one? I want to say it's the one. No, it's not the one in the center. Cause you, yeah, you can talk to that one right away. It's got to be one of these two, right? <sighs> I don't it's know which one. I say it's I the bottom think... left. I, I agree with that. If it's not, we'll go for it anyway. All right, here we go. <laughs> no! I'm sorry oh, to disappoint go! you. I'm only joking. <laughs> she got me. I'm the real. Wait, was this supposed to be mine? Yeah, because I was Koga, yes. right? Okay. Yes. I'm the real deal. Janina, Fuchsia Jim, that's me. Let's go. Let's go, Ninja. She, she actually gave me a heart attack for a second when I thought maybe it wasn't her. 
But when I good. saw all right, five Pokemons. When I saw the words, I was like, "This is her." I was like, "I remember she messes <laughs> with you." I remember. Thirty-six. Magma. Why the? Why did we take a step back? What are we doing, right? game? It's because it's her. It's her first gym experience, and she's and I didn't heal up. Crap. 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 So Olga is no, literally. No, you can't be missing that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's I missed the Mega Horn. Uh oh, Pasquetio. That could have been That's scary. That's actually kind of scary. Do I do another Mega Horn? We've been doing some risks. Do I do another do Mega it. Horn and risk do it, it further? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Zero! Oh my god, you missed it. <laughs> Zero! Don't crit, don't crit. Don't do it. I'll leave, I'll leave the room. <laughs> oh, oh, Zia, oh baby. God. Can't oh possibly miss a third one, right? Can't possibly miss a third one. Oh, you gotta heal up at this point. <laughs> yeah. Just to be safe. Woo! That was a little scary. Um, Two mega horns that, in a row. Zia. Yeah, no need to hit those. That'd be silly to do that. I <laughs> mean, just even our just own ridiculous. team thinks we're not getting challenged enough. Yeah, that's how bad it's getting. Yeah, what Zia did there was put on. It has the black belt. Took it off. Put it on. Actually, as a blindfold, and was like, "All right, watch <laughs> this. Watch <laughs> I this." I guess this. Go for another mega watch horn. Me. Thank you, Zia. You beautiful creature. Oh, that's oh yeah, that's a quad effective. That's kind of psychic. It is. So that that will definitely send this thing a pack. Probably could have killed it with a fly, but uh, it's more fun to go for the mega horn. Oh, absolutely. Get bodied. And I think I think fly actually hits about the same rate, doesn't it? Unless mega horn is eighty percent. Fly is eighty five. I think. Maybe? Yeah, I think it's eighty versus ninety, if I remember correctly. Can't believe I missed. Oh, two we're row. facing under forty, so we're not going to be facing. Yeah, evolved Pokemon. Yeah, I got. So I got, I got a little blood. baby puppy over here that I'm very <laughs> scared. How did we take a step? I, this is the fifth. Theoretically, if we're going based on Kanto order, this is the fifth gym leader. How did the second and third gym leaders have higher levels than this? Yeah, that literally makes no sense. Can't, like Lieutenant Surge comes here flying out of the gate. Yeah, you can't even get here until you do that stuff. I, I'm so confused. Yeah, I'm fighting a thumb. Or, correction, was <laughs> fighting a thumb. I'm no longer fighting- Oh, toe. you're fighting a self-destructing boy. I am. Thankfully, Doug is uh, is very strong. He's solid mm -hmm. rook, so even if you explode on me- Ooh, a seven, that's good. Even if he explodes, I think I'm fine. Yeah. Which I'm incredibly jealous of, because I have nothing to protect me against that. I just have oh, to- Oh, he's doing it! There it is. He's no doing crit. it, but I should eat it. I should yeah. eat it. I would think yeah. you would. Yeah. That's not a problem. You were I don't fine. Know, if these were actually level 40s like they should be, maybe I'd be scared, but yeah, not too <laughs> right? scared about that. Nah. I think I got one more a left. Zubat. Two more. A Zubat. A <laughs> Zubat, brother. Koga, you gotta <sighs> come back and uh, take over your gym again because uh, this ain't working. Oh! Ooh. Ooh, okay, Charizard's a little scary. I will say, he did make me flinch, and now I'm confused. So at least, you know, a little bit of scariness. Uh, I think I think for Alligator, it'll be fine. I'm level 40, one Surf. I think Sunny Day's done, so I should be fine. Doug loves punching himself in the face. Like, that's his just national pastime, is punching himself in the face while confused. He loves it. <laughs> See, it's, I, feel like, I feel like Doug and Zia got together and just said, this is way too easy. Here, this is what I'll do. I'll blindfold myself. You punch yourself in the face over and over and over again. They've been listening to a little Beastie Boys. Da, 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 this is sabotage. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh crap! I'm going too fast. I gotta read off your screen now. Oops. I mean, the when the gyms are this easy, it's difficult to not go this fast. I got a Lugia oh. coming in, yeah, which is I actually kind of scary. It's yep. actually a little scary. It's got what? Arrow blast. Arrow blast. Uh. Gust. Um, what was the other thing it had? No, it, it, yeah, it's gonna learn Gust probably now. Aeroblast. What is the second move? What is the second safeguard? move? Safeguard. Safeguard. Yeah, yeah. Aeroblast, safeguard, Gust, and it might know something else, but I don't know what well, it would be. Well, I'm just gonna hit it with rock throws. Yeah, it is an Aeroblast, but I quad resist, so I hate to say it. I feel bad that's... for you, son. Yeah, that's eight damage. And it's level 33. <laughs> that is so bad. I know. What is she doing? Felicia, that's not very much damage. What are you doing? I know you're no. slow, but you're supposed to at least hit hard. <laughs> Screech it up, man. Here, I'll tell you what. I'll yeah, I'll just, do a couple screeches. I'll try to speed this up ever so slightly. One more. I do there we go. Oh, my quick claw popped. And this should be the end of battle. Double I do, quick claw uh, pop. I do remember um, Onyx having really bad uh, attack. 
I didn't know if it would transfer over to, to Celix or not, but I think he got it your answer. Have. I know they're tanky, but I think mm -hmm. they have a little bit of hitting power. Right? All right, here we go. Fazoli to 26, and I'll give you this beautiful text. Sorry, Ryder <laughs> Joe. Ha, <laughs> you're a tough one. You definitely won. Here. Here's Soul Badge. Just take it. All right. Got him! <laughs> da 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 ba da ba Did it, boys. Chink. You're so tough. I have a special gift. It's Rock Slide. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I got Destiny Bond. Ugh. Okay, see, Janine definitely stepped it up because no other gym leaders have been giving us TMs, so. Yes. I'm going to really apply myself and improve my skills. Well, you better. I want to become better than both father and you. Man, you, you better. Yeah, you might me... start with the, the EXP share, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Get those levels up, dude. What the heck? There's some grass right outside of town. Go fight some things, because... Uh... Absolutely. All right. Well, that, that was, was exciting. Joke. Got yeah. another badge. I'm going to heal, which is what I should have done last time, but it turns out we didn't have anything to worry about anyways. So. No, absolutely not. Just, again, Kanto, Kanto, I, it's so cool that they put it in this game. The, mm -hmm. If you ever go and play Hard Gold and Soul Silver, which are my favorite games of all the time, the Kanto experience is definitely more rich there, which is very cool. At the time, you gotta just admire that they put this in, but we are blowing through it. <laughs> pretty, pretty darn quickly. Uh, but now that we have taken care of Janine, gotten the next badge, I believe we are halfway through uh, badges now. What do we got? Brock, Blue, Blaine, and uh, Erica. Erica. And that'll be next yep. episode. That's right. And uh, yeah, so speaking of next episode, uh, we will be doing that. We got a couple more counters to get on Cycling Road. Uh, we'll take care of all that and then go fight Erica. Uh, but other than that, we are going to stop here. Um, Josh, did you have anything else that you wanted to add before I take us on out? I hold, I'm going to go sneak out tonight, leave a couple rare candies on Erica's doorstep, and I hope she gives them to her Pokemon because I'm ready for a challenge. <laughs> if I do recall, I think Erica is at least fighting with mid-40s, but I I say this all the time because I, I just want to cover my butt been wrong before but <laughs> we'll find that out uh next episode for sure and we hope to see you guys over there to be on josh's channel on saturday so be sure to go over drop by his channel leave a sub hit the notification bell that way you know when it goes up typically at 5 p.m on saturdays but other than that yeah. we're gonna get on out of here we will see you guys on saturday see you guys that was pathetic Duh, with 30s what the heck is this my freaking little three-year-old cousin fighting against me <laughs> Koga's, Koga's gonna need to have a word with little Miss Janine. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs>